Hi, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to try this quick number problem. We want to know, is it possible to write 2 to the power of 2024 as the sum of a bunch of positive consecutive integers? So if you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself. But I'm going to dive straight into a solution here. The answer, in fact, is no, it is impossible. Let's see why. We're going to actually do this by contradiction. And what's quite interesting is it doesn't actually matter that this is 2 to the 2024. It can, in fact, be any power of 2 we want. So let's imagine it is possible. And let's say it's imagine, let's imagine it's possible for, let's say, 7 integers. So when we sum 7 consecutive integers, we get 2 to the 2024. Now, what's the issue with this? Well, the left-hand side here is just an arithmetic sum with seven terms. And quite a nice property is that the sum of um, an arithmetic sum is just the number of terms times the average term. So I've got seven terms here, and the average term here is just the first term plus the last term divided by two, which is just n plus four. So I get seven times n plus four is two to the 2024. But what's the issue with this? Well, this left-hand side here is a multiple of seven, and this clearly isn't a multiple of 7. And so we get a big contradiction here. And now, this the exact same argument works if you replace 7 with any other odd number. If I tried to write 2 to the 2024 as the sum of, let's say, 13 numbers, that would mean that 2 to the, 2020, uh, 2 to the 2024 is a multiple of 13, using a very similar argument. So that means, if I am to be able to write 2 to the 2024, as the sum of a bunch of consecutive integers, I must be using an even number of consecutive integers. So I can put this k as a 2k here. But in fact, we can analyze this and we get a very similar issue. If we're adding together 2k terms, what would that equal? Well, again, it's still just an arithmetic sum. And now what is uh, the value of this arithmetic sum? It's gonna be 2k multiplied by the average term here and the average term here is going to be n plus k plus 1 because it's uh, n plus 1 plus uh, n plus 2k which is going to give us 2n plus 2k plus 1 over 2 so oh, sorry that's supposed to be a half there so we get that equals 2 to the 2024 so if I just uh, well expand the brackets here on this side or to kind of just bring this k uh, this 2 in there I get k times 2n plus 2k plus 1 equals 2 to the 2024. Now what's the issue with this? Was Well, this thing here is an odd number. And so we don't know what that odd number is, but it's certainly an odd number, and it's bigger than 1, and that would be a factor of 2 to the 2024, which is an issue, because 2 to the 2024 has no odd factors bigger than 1. And that proves that it's impossible to write 2 to the 2024 as the sum of consecutive integers. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and like, uh, sorry, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.